Wagwan beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am glad to be back with another video. And we are still on international break. Well, for the most part, two more days till international break is over. And I have to say, I can't wait till it's over. It has been long. Can't wait for the Premier League to be back. And I'm sure you guys are excited for the Premier League to be back. We'll be back on Saturday facing Brentford. And I have a bit of bad news. A bit of bad news, a bit of good news. Of course, I'll be covering what happened over, what happened during the international break. Some good news depending on how you look at it and hopefully you enjoyed this video if you do please make sure you give it a thumbs up share it with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video now let's just jump right into the first news okay now for the international break of course oh, nations league happened and france were the winners of the what the winners of the title and i have to say congratulations to france i mean i catch the final i was rooting for spain based on the fact that there were more chelsea players present in that game who were aspilicueta and marcus alonso but sadly it went to or oh, still because sadly or goodly depending on how you look at it sadly or it can be good or bad depending on how you look at it um it went to france france was the, was the definite favorite and the likes of even Golo Kante and Giroud who were not able to participate in the final will still be getting medals so speaking of Golo Kante it was a bummer for it was a bummer for our captain Cesar Aspilicueta and Marcus Alonso to lose but that game was an intense game I did a live and I I have to tell you <laughs> emotions were running up and down up and down I mean the first two goals between both teams it was a 1-1 draw and the 1-1 one -one draw was made within, I think, one minute. I mean, the space of two minutes, if I'm not wrong. So it was a very intense game, but France were definitely the favorite and they deserved to win it. So congratulations to France. The likes of Ngolo Kante still got their medals, as I, as I reported earlier. So congratulations to the likes of Ngolo Kante and France in general. Speaking of Ngolo Kante, I have some good news. It has been reported that Ngolo Kante will be back, has been, Ngolo Kante is back to training and he and his James are set to be, they are set to be ready for the Brentford game on Saturday. <laughs> I mean, this will be a definitely great boost to the team. I, we know how essential Ngolo Kante is to the squad, but uh, his last game wasn't his best. So I hope that this time when he comes back, he will be better. Of course, Rhys James missed international break. And now he will be back for the Brentford game. Hopefully, and hopefully, hopefully he's he's better. Of course, coming to international break, some most of the players will be tired, so we'll need that boost. So having Rhys James, having Rhys James, whether he's going to be playing at the right wing back or the right centre back position, and Golokante at the midfield will definitely be a boost for our for our squad. And I can't wait for Saturday. Now, in terms of the international break, still while well, we're at it, of course, there have been rumors circulating about Lukaku and Rudiger. Now, in terms of Lukaku, the rumor is that he had to leave. You know, Belgium was kicked out of the nation of the Nations League uh, semi-finals, which was really sad. But you know, at the end of the day, it can only be there can only be one winner. So, it, in terms of Lukaku, it has been reported that he he had to leave the belgium international squad early based on the fact that he has some muscle fatigue now i hope this is not serious i mean coming back from international break of course we'll be needing some of the players not every player will be rested we will we will still need a strong 11 we will need, we'll still need a strong starting 11 squad so having lukaku in the squad will definitely be a boost but if he's injured if he's tired he should be rested but not too long yet but i think you get the point but i hope the injury is not too i hope uh his muscle fatigue is not too serious and he can be able to resume back to his chelsea duties now also speaking of the international break i had to talk about timo Werner. now timo Werner, timo timo's confidence is back <laughs> timo's confidence is back at its highest i mean he was able to make in two goals for his germany squad and i have to say congratulations to timo i mean he talked with the journal he talked to the journalist in the lines of um he 
he knows he hears about all all the things that people say about him the way sometimes people don't believe in him but it just doesn't get to him and this is the reason why he keeps on going he still has a very positive attitude <laughs> hashtag Kahoma video so in terms of Timo I'm super proud of him it will be very nice to have him back of course uh, despite the fact that he has gone for international break I believe Timo will still be a key essential element in our squad coming back from the international break so it will be nice to see Timo back so that is in terms of the international break now other news other than that, I thought I would just mention, in relation to the game on Saturday, our referee has been set, and <laughs> and it is Anthony Taylor. Now we have had a reputation as Chelsea with Anthony Taylor, not him of him not having the best interest for our club. I mean, the last time he booked Chris James, which was absolutely unfair against the Liverpool game. So I hope this time he will be at least fair to the both teams and hopefully this game goes well. We need to bag in as many wins as possible because the next few fixtures aren't as hard as our first seven fixtures up to match, match week seven. So going into match week eight, hopefully we'll be having Anthony Taylor will not F up our attitude because he has a tendency to do that. I mean. Taking us down to 10 men when we don't deserve it is not absolutely necessary. So unless it's there, we all agree it's there. We, we just need Anthony Taylor to be fair. Please, just be fair. So that is in relation to the Brentford game on Saturday. Now, as I finish up, I thought I would just put this in there. <laughs> of course, you guys are aware about, you, you guys are all aware about the Newcastle takeover and in relation to the Newcastle takeover, of course, there has been lots and lots of rumors in circulation with uh, in circulation around who will be the next few people to be signed. And with the major signings will be the probability of the coach being changed. Now, Frank Lampard has been linked to Newcastle. I don't know how to feel about this, but this is now the second news outlet I have seen reports on this that he's very keen uh, to coach Newcastle and i have to say i'm not surprised i mean olivia Giroud too mentioned that he spoke <laughs> olivia Giroud spoke to him uh previously last year and he sees him being fit uh to, to coach newcastle now do i see this happening i doubt but i mean frank lampard had his season in chelsea not a very good season uh, and and that's why he was sacked i mean he was not producing results um at the rate that we required him to so in in relation to newcastle i doubt it but yet again you never know so <sighs> this is the richest club in the world right now so they can literally have any coach they want in the world so i don't know why okay uh, no disrespect to frank lampard but i really doubt they would go for him but that's the latest in terms of what's happening in and around chelsea <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you noticed, I changed my background. <laughs> so if you like my background, please hit that subscribe button. Tell me what you think about it. What, what, how does it make you feel? I mean, what stands out for you? And that will be it for my video. So 